Hey everyone, this is Tim Stack. I am here live at New York Comic Con. We are at the Javits Center. We are in the basement of the Javits Center and at the end of Comic Con day one. And I'm here with the director, the cinematographer, and the actors of 1917, um, which is I'm so excited about. I love Sam Mendes so much, and I think you're just you're an incredible director. I already I already gushed over Roger Deakins uh, also. Uh, I'll gush over you boys too. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll also gush over you. But tell me, for people that don't know, what tell us what 1917 is about. Well, it's um, it's set on uh, one particular day in 1917, at the height of uh, the First World War, mm -hmm. um, and it follows two uh, soldiers who are sent on a mission. Uh, it's uh, a period in 1917 when the Germans, uh, the the British, woke up one morning to find the Germans had simply disappeared, mm -hmm. and they were retreating to the Hindenburg Line, mm -hmm. um, and. Um, uh, and it follows them on this mission to save the lives of 1,600 people. Um, so tell me, so this was, we just revealed this, that, or you guys just revealed this recently, that this is all shot as like a one-shot movie, basically, right? Like this is all, it's all sort of formatted, like a, like one con continuous shot. How did you tell me about that? That's, it's, that's incredible. Well, it was, it was just a choice, really, that we made. It was, you know, part of the construction of the script from the very first day. I just wanted the audience to be part of every second of the journey yeah. with them. And it takes place in two hours of real time. And um, yeah, I sort of wanted them to walk every footstep and breathe every breath with them. And so yeah. that was a decision. It was an emotional decision as much as anything else. Yeah. But it posed, obviously, a bunch of yeah. pretty <laughs> tricky technical problems. Yeah. Um, but that was part of the joy of it as well. Yeah. Roger, what was this like for you shooting a movie like this? I mean, you're you've you know you're uh, done so many incredible you know films. How ch how how did this measure up in terms of challenge wise to you know other things you've done? Well, no, it starts you, you initial challenges. You don't think about w when we started talking about it. It wasn't about a one shot. We knew we were going to do that, but it was what's what's what are the actors doing? What's the scene? Where do you want to put the camera to best express what's happening in the scene? Yeah. So we didn't say, how the hell are we going to do that? We said, where do we want the camera to do? How are we doing that? We're following them down the trench. We're pulling them. We're going around here. OK, now how do we do it technically? Yeah. So it, for me, it broke down into those two spaces, if you like, how, how creatively we wanted to show the story to the audience. Yeah. And then it became a technical challenge to figure out how yeah. you get the camera to do that. For you guys, what was that like? You know, because uh, I imagine the choreography of this, the the prep, you know, the pre-production time and the choreography and the prep, you know pre preparation of it would be so intense. Was that nerve-wracking to be like, we can't mess this up, we can't, we can't, we gotta do it all again, you know? Yeah, it was. We, uh, I mean, there was a lot of pressure, really. Yeah. I mean, you'd be halfway through a take and pray that nothing would go <laughs> wrong, yeah. and it would sometimes. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we we was pretty prepared coming into it. We did six months rehearsals, and we wow. did. Uh, me and George, we did a lot of military training and armory yeah. training and physical training to make sure that our stamina was up there to be able to keep up. Yeah. I know, I was going to ask you, did you, did you guys have a time, because it's just you two for most of it, like you, it's kind of a two-person movie, it seems like. Uh, did you guys have a time to sort of bond and kind of get to know each other and spend time and develop a rapport? Yeah, that, I mean, that's that's part of what the rehearsal process was, was yeah. just kind of naturally, you know, we spent every day together. I, I mean, but that was, I mean, that was Dean and I particularly, but like, that was the joy of this, this process is that oftentimes, you know, you know, usually with a film, you you come in and there's sort of things are kept quite separate. Yeah. But, but, you know, everyone was around each other right from the very beginning. So, and that was just kind of, just by the nature of it, we got to know each other, just mm -hmm. spending all that time together. Yeah. And you guys have a you have an incredible supporting cast too, like Benedict Cumberbatch is in it, right? And Colin Firth? Benedict Cumberbatch and Colin Firth and Andrew Scott and oh. Mark Strong and Richard Madden and various others. Um, but the center of it is is these two young men yeah. who are both brilliant in it. Um, and they play characters who they encounter on the way. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I can't really, it's so tricky to talk <laughs> about a movie that no one can see yeah. yet. Yeah. So I have to sort of tiptoe around it. But look, it, I, I think the most important thing is that the movie is, is not a dry historical mm -hmm. movie. You don't need to know anything about World War I. Okay. Um, it's constructed more like a thriller in a way yeah. than a conventional war movie. It's not a combat film. Um, it's designed as an emotional journey, as an immersive, visceral experience, yeah. as much as anything else that we hope people will 
have in the cinema rather yeah. than rather than on their at home on their TV screens, um, and it uses all the bells and whistles you you have at your disposal yeah. as a director in in the movies, and um, you know it, it's uh, it's something that you can uh, walk into and understand on a very basic level. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's a piece of visual storytelling as yeah. much as anything else. I mean, what was this like for you? I mean, you are an incredibly, you know, incredible visual storyteller. How did this sort of, how does this rank in sort of your <laughs> difficulty level? If you're, you know, I mean, you've done so many. I mean, American Beauty, Skyfall, Road to Perdition. I mean, so many incredible films. How does this sort of, technically, you know, how does this sort of rank for you? Well, it's but way the most difficult thing <laughs> technically I've ever done. Um, uh, but it was also the most enjoyable in many ways. Yeah. I mean, it was it was hard, and there were days when you you know you didn't get anything done at all yeah. except rehearse because the weather was wrong or right. the, the 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 shot was too tricky. But the exhilaration and the excitement you feel when you actually do it yeah. is really huge. Yeah. So yeah, and and I think um, a little bit of my sort of bond training went into it as well. <laughs> I, I, I feel ask, like yeah. I. You know, we did a, an eight-minute shot at the beginning of Spectre that gave me the courage to think maybe if we wrote it with that in mind from the very beginning, yeah. we could do a whole movie like this, yeah. um, and be able to handle or learning to handle that that those technical challenges that come with, yeah. you know, uh, big budgets and huge numbers of people. And what Roger and I did on Skyfall, you know, I felt like we we felt like we'd tackled some pretty big yeah. uh, technical issues and problems on that, and come out with uh, something that was a you know was a hopefully an enjoyable and much liked movie. So that that was it gave us confidence. Yeah, Great. I remember you telling me if I can butt in. I remember you telling me on Jarhead when we were shooting handheld with a little Harry 2C. And we had all these extras and all this equipment and all these explosions. And I looked at you and said, my god, we're doing it with one little handheld camera. I'm running around like this. How much is this costing? And you said, no, that's not what it's about. It's about what you're going down that lens. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what the expense and the scale is. It's what's coming down that frame. Oh, I can't wait. I'm, I'm huge fans of both of you. This is such a like great dream team of people. But um, everyone, 1917 is in theaters this December. And stay tuned for more here from Comic-Con.